Hi, I'm Rose from vr1.co.uk. It's so exciting to see how fast VR technologies are evolving, adapting and interacting with our everyday lives. From the social aspects, like interacting with friends, virtual experiences, like climbing Mount Everest, the latest in gaming, and business applications used for training for potentially dangerous situations in a safe space. So, what is the future of VR and where are we headed? The visual aspects are evolving rapidly, with for example the Rift S and Valve Index delivering some truly impressive visuals. And although headsets are still generally quite bulky, it won't be long before we're slipping on a VR device the size of an average pair of glasses. But what about the other senses? Smell and touch? I guess it's just a matter of time to see how close we really are to Ready Player One becoming reality. At VR Days 2019, I had the opportunity to interview Sir Vieta, the Digital Marketing Manager of Manus VR, to find out more on the experience of touch. So hi, my name is Serdar Yeter. I'm a channel marketeer at uh, Manus VR. Yeah. And today we're here to showcase our Prime series, especially the Prime Haptics, our gloves with the finger tracking and the haptic feedback. And we released this series um, in June. And yeah, we're, we're proud to showcase this finalized product. So the idea is that when you are in VR, you don't... Well, when an enterprise is in VR, they mainly use it for training simulations. Um, and when you want to train someone, you first need to teach them how to use a controller. And when you use a glove directly, you don't have any controllers, no buttons. It's just your hands in virtual reality and you can just do the training and get the muscle memory by doing it with your hands, of course, which really helps. So it just reacts directly? Exactly. You just do the movements and it happens in VR. And besides that, we also have like a motion capture solution because our finger tracking are really high end because of that a lot of big motion tracking companies, uh, animation companies, they use our gloves to make animation movies like Disney movies, Netflix, so can make they use it. The so yeah, what they do is the data that our gloves send when you move your fingers, they translate it to the animation. So when I like move my fingers, you see the animation doing the same thing. So the yeah. animation looks really real. Yeah, exactly. The, 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 the nice thing about motion capture, the beauty in it is the details. And when you move your fingers the right way, that's where the beauty comes from, you know, when you really translate that to the animation. So this is our haptic glove, the Prime Haptic. This is our flagship product of the Prime series. And like the glove itself has the sensors inside, so when I do the movement, the glove measures what my hand is doing. What I have here are vibration motors that vibrate when I touch something in virtual reality so that I get haptic feedback. And the haptic feedback is meant so that you know when you are touching something and when you are touching too hard, when something is too heavy, the vibration gets heavier. And that's how a training simulation can let you know when you're doing something good or doing something wrong. And what you see on top is a vibe tracker. Because our hand, uh, the, our glove, tells what the hand is doing. And the vibe tracker, it tells where the hand is moving. Yeah. So this is the positional tracker. And it's just like, it's a vibe tracker. It's from another company, of course. And everything under the vibe tracker is built by ourselves. What you see here is the battery and the... A vibration model of the haptics and under it is uh, the battery of the glove and the battery of the glove is connected to this IMU and this IMU what it does is me it measures the, mo uh, the rotation of the thumb because for the thumb you want to know the bend but you also want to know the rotation so if you have the rotation you know when someone wants to grab something and every movement is actually measured so these are the basic movements the basic uh, bends that you do with your finger but also when you bend your fingertip the sensor doesn't really catch it but our software can calculate what you are doing with your fingertip and it really sees what's happening I can show you on the screen 
So what you're seeing right now is the data that my the glove is sending to the computer. And you can see like if I move the fingertip of my index finger, without really getting the sensor data, it kind of calculates what I'm doing with my fingertips which is a very interesting thing. And this is the rotation of the thumb, as I mentioned, uh, because you want to know when you grab something. So I can completely close my hand, I can open my hand, I can do individual fingers, and the same counts for this one, of course. So this is the Manus Glove. Thank you. It was fun, Thank thanks. You.